In stillness, you make the energy of your body healthy. You make yourself strong mentally. You become open to the moment and to more possibilities. You open your energy channels and your energy flows freely. Imagine that in stillness, your energy flows. You calm the anxiety that a tense body and central nervous system produces. But there are times when it's difficult for you to stop the motion of your mind. You constantly go from one thought to the next and you're so occupied with keeping up your attention on life's external events that you don't consider the value of your own internal consciousness, your true self, your true nature. Instead, you go through life following what others say and do. You follow the trends, what others consider to be the most important thing to do right now. And you let others tell you what you think and feel. You follow the news, you listen to the talking heads who change their minds from one day to the next until you realize you're all confused and you don't know what's real anymore. Everything is moving so quickly. You have an answer for this one day and then the next day it is obsolete. So it's hard to keep up and the fog of confusion is often thick enough to cause you to lose your inner stability and sense of unity. And you lack an internal awareness to support a strong self image. You don't have the means to clear away your emotional blocks from your past. And here's the thing, clearing your blocks helps you to be aware of your own consciousness and it sets you on a journey, a journey of getting to know who you truly are. And that's how Tai Chi worked for me. The practice of Tai Chi helped me to focus on where to place my energy. It helped me to develop my energy flow, to have the strength and stability so that I can deal with releasing my repressed emotions while helping me to relax into my being. And when I do Tai Chi, I prepare for and begin to experience the emotional knots hidden within myself. And it's important to recognize that there are knots in your body. These are places where you feel tension, where you feel blocked strength, where you feel muscular contractions. It's a place where pain is felt or anxiety or other things that don't feel right. And because there are knots in your body in the course of this hectic life, your tension is going to build up and you're like a ticking time bomb ready to explode. And usually you explode during crisis points in your life. Points such as death, divorce, disease, or any type of disaster, whether it's financial or otherwise. And Tai Chi practice helped me to slow down the emotional storms inside me. It helped me to gradually build my internal stability, to have a sharp perspective on life, and it helped me to build calmness until I clearly recognized and accepted my difficulties as my own. And it revealed to me my dysfunctions as a person, as a human being, for what they really are. And with Tai Chi practice, I feel clear again. There's no self delusion and there's no denying that uh, my essence and my life purpose is very real. And while confusion exists every day to weaken, to obscure, to unbalance my life, I have Tai Chi to clear the way for me to explore the depths of my inner being and to release the tensions in my body. It has helped me to settle into my own being in the midst of life's storms and stirrings. So how does it clear the way for me? Well, I want to show you five steps to help you start 
your Tai Chi journey. And these are five steps that I usually take when I do my Tai Chi practice. Five things to keep in mind. So the first thing is to be still. Be still even in motion. So stand with me with your feet shoulder width apart. Your feet are parallel on the floor and you're going to relax your breath. Observe and notice your breathing and then begin to slow it down. Start counting maybe. Count from one to five. One, two, three, four, five on the exhale and then one, two, three, four, five on the inhale. And do this a few times. And when you do this, do you notice that your mind is now becoming calm? Let your breath deepen with each time until it becomes slow, steady, and from the belly. So now you're no longer breathing through your nose, but now you're breathing through your belly. And notice how the belly expands and contracts as you inhale, it expands, and as you exhale, it shrinks back in. And then when you breathe, Take your tongue and place your tongue on the roof of your mouth and then relax the tension that you may be feeling in your jaw. Maybe you're pressing your lips. Maybe you're tightening up your mouth. Loosen up and release the tension in your jaw. So that is being still by becoming more aware of your breath. Then step number two is feel your body from head to toe. So once you are aware of your breath, then you become aware of your body and place your mind at the top of your head and then work your way downward on the front of your body, the sides of your body, and then the back and work your way down from head to toe. So going down to your nose, to your throat, to your chest, all the way down to your belly, through your legs and knees, and then into your feet. And just do a quick body scan and just feel, notice what is happening and take your time in each place and feel what's happening right now. So, not only do you go from head to toe, I also want you now to go from outside to inside. So take your mind and place your mind on the surface of your skin. And as you're doing these movements with me, yeah, energize. Fingers up and out. Palms in front of your chest and then drop. And as you move from left to right, and your arms are going up and down, feel what's happening on the surface of your skin. Feel the air on the surface of your skin. Feel your skin gliding across the air, tickling your hairs. And then go deeper inside into your muscles and feel what muscles are working as you move from left to right and then go even deeper than that into your bones and feel the bones working bearing weight on your body and feel the bones support your muscles and your skin then step number three work on body alignment we're going to start with your spine. Imagine your spine as the center line of your body and go down vertebra by vertebra until you reach and feel your perineum. Then what I want you to do is bend your knees, all right, and relax the muscles of your lower back and hips and tuck your pelvis slightly forward. 
while pointing your tailbone straight down to the ground. And these alignments will help your body from blocking your chi. So again, start with your spine and make sure that everything is hanging from the tip of your head all the way down to the tip of your tailbone. Feel your perineum. Feel the separation of your legs and thighs and feel the tailbone pointing down. And as you bend your knees, don't feel like you're going to be putting a lot of your weight on your knees. In fact, settle down and bring your weight down to your feet and feel your feet on the ground. Now, when you relax into alignment, the quality of your attention and your attitude is going to change. It changes. Are you feeling calm right now? Are you feeling clear minded? Step number four, release your tension and strength to the ground. So again, don't bear any weight on your knees, but go and exhale straight down to your feet and let your feet bear the weight of your body. And when you release the tension in your body, you're also going to release tension in your thoughts. So when you release your tension, you're actually letting go and letting the body fall into the floor, into the ground, through your feet. Step number five is have a positive, uplifting experience and expectation of what you're doing, right? So what I mean by that is even though that we're practicing releasing our tension and letting go and letting everything fall into the floor, as you move, you're going to feel the energy rise up from your feet to the part of your body that is being activated here. So exhale and then energize, feel the body float up, rise up with your fingers, exhale again, and then feel the energy flow right back up. So as you sink the energy down, also feel the energy rise right back up. So as they say, as below, so is above. So sink down and let your energy rise up and expand out. Have that positivity in your life. So what if by releasing the tensions of your body, you get stronger and you're better able to resist and fight off disease. What if you can actually do that? But now you're probably thinking, what are other ways where I can release tension in my body? Well, stay tuned and follow me on social media. But in the meantime, I have a special offer for you, 30 days of unlimited online Tai Chi classes for $30. So go to this link below and get that and get your Tai Chi journey started.